What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with yet another Groudon team. But this time, this team features Coach and Gallade alongside with Rotom Wash. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel or just not yet subscribed, consider subscribing and support me as a content creator. It really does go a long way, so I thank everybody who does so. But getting started with this team, we're starting off with Gallade, a very, very underrated Pokemon. It is decently well. It has a fairly good move set, like a move pool that I can actually choose from. And I think it hits really, really hard. And its only downfall is actually hits a bulkiness. It's very much like a glass cannon. It, can it can't really take hits, but it can hit really hard. But this thing has justified ability, Psychic Seeds as its item, and then this moveset of Trick Room, coaching to actually give a plus one attack boost and defense boost to our physical attackers, preferably ground on on this team, and then Drain Puncher Stab and Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Right next to him is going to be Indeedee, our Psychic Terrain Control here. We have Focus Sash as his item, Psychic Surges his ability, Expanding Force, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Follow Me to protect allied Pokemon from incoming attacks. Middle left is heart and soul of this team. This Pokemon's an absolute beast. Groudon, top tier in the meta right now. Drought to set the weather. Citrus Berry as an item. And then a fairly normal moveset for Groudon, which is Precip Ice Blades, Rock Slide, Heat Crash, and Protect. Right next to him is another Pokemon that's going to pair well, really well, well with Groudon, and that's going to be Chlorophyll Venusaur. Cannot have a Sun Team without this Pokemon, considering how good it is. This thing has Sludge Bomb, Grass Knot, Protect, and Sleep Powder, just to put Pokemon to sleep left and right, considering most of the time we're going to be able to outspeed in the Sun, so I can just start putting everybody to sleep and take control of the battle from there. Bottom left corner is Rotom Wash, and I haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit. I feel like ever since this series came out, all the Rotoms has just been kicked to the side. Like, nobody has really been using the Rotoms, nobody's really been testing them out, using them too much. But I still like them. I still think they're very good in this game. This one has Levitate, Leftovers as its item, and then we got the normal moveset that everyone always used to use, which is Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Protect, and Bolt Switch. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be the one and only Incineroar. This Pokemon is too good not to be used on a team like this. Intimidate, Safety Goggles as its item, Flare Blitz, Snarl, Fake Out, and Pardon Shot. Love this moveset. I think it can control the battle so well and just dominate all around. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to our rank double ladder and look to get some wins with this coaching Gallade and Groudon team. We got a mirror matchup for battle number one, Groudon versus Groudon, but my team's looking a little cooler than his, if I do say so myself. This guy has the Entei, the Indeedee, Tapu Koko, Cresselia, and Lorantis on his squad. Really, nobody thrives from the sun from him, so I feel like we have a way better sun team. Just by looks... We definitely do. We definitely do. But uh, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I'm thinking he could potentially pop a Trick Room. I might go into Gallade and Grout on here. Just to get things started. I know he does have the... Uh, Cresselia does have Levitate as an ability. So we definitely have to watch out for that. But I'm going to lead them to. Try to showcase this. Try to get rolling with that. Um, I do want to bring Venusaur 100% if Sun's going to be a threat. And then final Pokemon on the squad. Mm. Do I go Indeedee or Rotom? I'm thinking I'm leaning a little bit more towards Rotom here. I just think Rotom can be really, really good, especially if the drought ends, but hmm. it's tough news. That's tough news. I'm going to bring Rotom. I'm going to bring Rotom. Just because I like this Pokemon, just love this design, and just think it's a very strong all around. But guys, let me know for question of the day for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on a brand new Pokemon update coming October 20th? So, a day after this uh, video is uploaded. But if you guys do not know, Greedent is a new Pokemon that is coming out on that date. And it's also the Halloween update is happening. So they're redesigning the whole map, put pumpkins all around. Some moves are changing. Well, not like changing, but the uh, the appearance of them changes. So instead of Lucario's War Spear, he shoots a giant pumpkin, which I think is very cool. And new costumes, new, uh, new uh, what is it called? Pokemon costumes. So there's like people costumes and Pokemon costumes. But it's just a huge Halloween update. And I'm actually really excited for it. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But... We both lead the ground on. He also leads the Loranthus. The Loranthus. And I could wide guard turn one, which is exactly what I want to do. This dude wants to go for blades. We'll go for that. And then I think I might just heat crash and take out Loranthus. Or I could also go for blades. What would I rather do? I think I'm just going to go for the heat crash. Get rid of this Loranthus and kind of roll off from there. Let's see how this one plays out. Wide guard coming from my Gallade. We're reading the blades off of him. We're going to say, hey, this guy's dropping blades all day. Our heat crash comes out. We see. We can say buy that Lorantz skill. Get this Lorantz out my face. We don't want him here, yo. Get him out of here. No need for him. Critical hit. I don't even think we need a crit to take him out. Just fire moves in the drought. Just do so much damage. Here comes the blades. Perfect wide guard by me. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face. Get him out my face, dude. Reading him hard and getting off to a very, very strong start for this video. 
Gotta love Leo. Gotta love it when you make a great first turn play and it just starts to set you up for victory. Like whenever you make a first turn play, especially like that, look at that. We picked up KO. We didn't take any damage and we're just thriving here. Like it's setting us up for victory. So if we can just play this one pretty normal now, we should be able to pick up a nice big old victory. Unless this guy makes like a ridiculous play. But I think our Groudon outsped him. I wouldn't say it's a speed time. Let me check out stats. He's going to go in with that. So that's, I, I'm not sure if I want to coach, but that is going to trigger my seeds. That is going to trigger my seeds, which is just lovely. It's just dandy all around. I'm with it all day. Battlefield got weird. Give me my seeds, baby. All day. All right, real question is, does he go for a follow me? That is my question. Does he go for a follow me? Because if he does, uh, he might go for a follow me. So I'm just going to drain punch instead of going for a coach. Just in case he does. We're going to rip up like this. I think my Groudon should outspeed. I want to check stats, but I honestly totally forgot. But yeah, our Groudon outspeeds. We're going to go for our blades. Ripping after this. Look at that damage. Look at that damage output, man. Just ridiculous. Train Punch is going to fly through here. I wish we would have went after the Ndidi. But we're still chipping away on the Groudon. Doing a decent amount of damage all around. Gotta love it. Shadow Ball's going to fly through here. I think my boy should be able to eat that up. It's not stab. Yeah, yo, all day, yo, dude. That's a tasty snack. Especially with the Psychic Seeds. Psychic Seeds are just rocking. My Groudon avoids that attack. And can you eat this up, Glade? Glade, I would love for you to get another turn out here. Nope. Like I said, Glass Cannon. Glass can. <laughs> Did great, though. Did really good, though. Gotta love it. The wide guard was definitely clutch. Definitely rocked out. And we can just win this game right here, right now. We can just go straight into Venusaur and win this game right here, right now. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take any chances. We're just gonna throw out the big guns. We're gonna throw out the big guns, especially because it's battle number one. You guys know I like to get my wins early, and then later in the ba battle or video, I like to showcase the, uh, the off-meta Pokemon, if we do really have one for the team. I guess Rotom would be it. But Rotom's still an absolute beast. But we're just gonna drop Blades. Blades gonna pick up the double KO here. Big Grass not flying through on the other side as well. Here it comes. Bop. Get out my face, ground on. We don't want you here. Venusaur said, pack your bags and take a hike, buddy. So he's gone. I actually shouldn't have bladed. Because Blades have a high chance of missing. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Expanded Force comes out. That actually might take out my Venusaur. Nope. Venusaur is bulky, yo. He's a bulky little dude. He's a bulky little thing. Look at my dude. Bulking up. But yeah, we shouldn't have went to Blades. Right? I probably should have thought about that one. Just a little bit more. Been like, hey, maybe Blades isn't the call here. He's going to send out his final Pokemon, which is going to be Top of Coco. Yeah, it's Coco. Go home, dude. Get out my face. Get out my face, yo. He's going to change the terrain. That's actually more beneficial for us, I think. Right? Electric, electric terrain doesn't do anything for ground. Right? This thing does not have Levitate. This is a defense boost. He does not have levity, right? Let me see. Let me read, read up on the electric terrain real quick. Electric terrain. Power of electric. Yeah, that's all it does. Five turns. Pokemon on the ground. Won't fall asleep. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. La, 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 We do have Sludge Bomb ready to rock, which is exactly what we're going to do over on to Didi. And then I'm just going to blade up. I'm just going to blade up. Let's do it. Sludge Bomb. Flying. Oy. Dropping him. I probably should have Sludge Bomb all to the Coco. But I think that my Groudon should be able to eat this one up, right? Hyper Voice coming out here. Yeah, yeah, that's all day. That's all day eats. For both you guys. For both you guys. He was really looking for the uh, kill on the Venusaur and dealing damage on the ground. Um, but he didn't get it. He did not get it. And now we're going to finish this dude off by just sending a big old Blades on him. Big old Blades coming out. Finishes that thing off. And we just dominate this first battle. Yes, sir. Let's get after it. One and to get this video started. Let's hop into a second and look to go back to back. I always hate going up against a Kyogre team with a Groudon team or vice versa. It's just a pain in the neck and it's a straight out swap fest. People trying to swap, getting their weather control, the opponent swapping, trying to get their weather control. So we're here though. We got a 1v1 up against a Kyogre team and it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but hopefully we can come out on top and grab ourselves that victory. This guy also has a Swift Swim Ludicolo. He has the Clefairy with the Follow Me and Evo Light. He has the Malwak for Trick Room. I don't think he's going to really bring it. And then he has the, uh, the Urshfu and the Amoongus as his final two Pokemon. So very strong team. Very, very strong team. I definitely got to bring in Groudon, but definitely not as a lead. I might bring in Didi as a lead. I could go Venus as a lead. I'm going to go Venus as a lead and bring Groudon in that back end. I just think that can work out pretty well here. i also go with the Incineroar for a fake out. I really do think that, yeah. I'm going to go Groudon in the back end. And then final Pokemon is either going to be Gallade or Ndidi. Or I could bring Rotom. Yeah, Rotom's going to be great here. Rotom is going to be great here. Let's bring out Rotom. Let's get rocking on this one. Let's look to go back to back. But dude, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Jeans here. It's going to be tough. 
But yeah, I'm super excited for that Pokemon Unite update. I've just been loving just grinding and relaxing and playing that game. And just to let you guys know, streams are going to be coming back very, very soon because probably uh, start of November. We got Diamond and Pearl coming out, and I just want to start uh, getting back in the swing of things with my schedule with streaming and everything. So if you guys want to follow my streams, name is right below my face, Cam, Jeans 25 on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. But I definitely want to start when November hits, get back in the swing of things. And then when Diamond and Pearl comes, we're going to be busting out big old live streams for that. Same thing with uh, when Legends of Arceus does come out as well. He's going to lead these two guys, and I think just the Moongus fake out has to come out here. I think that's 100% the play. I could fake out onto the Ludicolo. Hmm. Nah, we're going to we're gonna sludge bomb over onto the Ludicolo and just fake out the Moongus for turn one. Or I could parting shot here. No, I'm not going to parting shot. It's just not the play. It's just not the play. I kind of want to see a forced Groudon come out here. Yeah, there it is. Forceful Groudon or Kyrie come out here. So there's that. I think we still should be fine. Cause then I just change up whether or not I put the uh, Kyrie to sleep this turn. Fake out comes out. Oh, he's gonna fake on me. Oh, okay. So this is this guy's turn, and he shows that he's orb. We got love. Okay, so he shows that he's orb. We chip away damage onto the Kyrie, which is great. And I, again, I just think we hard swap and put the Kyrie to sleep, right? Right? Is that the play? Is that the play? We just, we just, we just do one of these. And we take speed advantage with the, with the ground on here. I think that's got to be play. I mean, he could. He could. I mean, I just don't see him doing a lot of damage. Unless he goes through, he could be going for a grass move. And making the hard read that uh, internal is swapping. But he, he might protect the Kyrie. We'll see in just a second. We shall see. Well, this dude's thinking. This dude's definitely thinking. This is exactly why we brought the ground on. He's going to withdraw the Kyrie return one. Okay, and he's going to go back out in the Moongus if I had to guess. Dang it, man. Right back out in the Moongus, who I don't think he can go to sleep, right? I just don't, I don't think that affects him. If he made this read, he's just going to go straight for a heavy grass move. Anyway. Which I hope not. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude's plan is. Maybe he'll go for a water move. We'll see. We shall see. The powder comes out here, and it doesn't affect him. Yep, all day, and then a Hydro Pump is going to fly through here. He's dropping a Hydro Pump, which ground should be able to eat up pretty fine here. Um... My play here is probably going to be protect the ground on here. And maybe take out the Ludicolo. Actually, he could go for follow me. Which is a tough part. He could go for straight for follow me. Uh, I think I'm just going to go here. And I think I'm just going to protect my, uh, protect my ground on here. I'm just going to protect my ground on here. This one's going to be a slow battle. Slow, slow battle here. Definitely want to get instant or back out here. He is going to swap the Moongus, which is totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. Totally fine. The Drizzle is going to pop. I definitely don't just want to hard swap into my Incineroar. I'd rather hard swap into my Rotom. The Protect is going to fly out from my Groudon. And maybe should have swapped him. I maybe should have hard swapped him that turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Ice Beam is going to fly. And he makes a hard read on Protect. That's a great play by him. Venusaur is going to get chipped away here. Do not freeze. And I think Venusaur should be able to pick up a KO here, which could be big for us. Here's a lovely attack onto him. And a big KO from our Venusaur. Nice little stab sludge bomb. Getting rid of that Ludicolo, but hey, yo, this battle ain't even close to being him. We already know that. We know that for a fact. We know that for a fact. So, maybe a Moogus comes out this turn. I really do wonder. I really do wonder what he's going to do here. Yeah, a Moogus does fly out here this turn. I think we just protect the Venusaur and we swap the Groudon into the Rotom. I like get a little bit of sludge or uh, black sludge HP back. Do this, and then we do a uh, hard swap over here into the Rotom. Because we do have leftovers, I mean, he could start putting me to sleep. But I just don't see that happening. Let's see what he does. I think a Rage Powder is going to fly through here. I really do think a Rage Powder is going to be the play. Yo, this is a good battle. This is a good battle right here. It's always a good battle, but it's always such a pain, man. It's a swap vest. I said that in the beginning of the uh, the battle. I was like, it's just going to be a swap vest. It's going to be nutty. It's going to be annoying. But it's going to be a solid battle here. But we're protecting. Our Rotom's getting out here. And let's see what he does from here. Ice Beam's going to fly. There's an easy eat. And how do I play out this one? And Spore's going to fly through here. So he Spore's up under my Rotom. I'm kind of worried. I kind of don't mind. Uh, What do I do from here? What do I do from here? Do I think he swaps? 
But I think he swaps is a real question. He might, but then a Grass Knot's going to have to fly through. So we are just going to swap a Rotom. He could be asleep for a little bit. We're going to go into a ground on here. We need to take Weather here. We need Weather here. Definitely need Weather. There's a Withdraw on the Kyogre. That's totally fine. And who's he going to throw out here? Who's this final Mon here? It's going to be the Urshifu. Okay, yo, I'm with Grass Knot and up on through Urshifu all day. I'm with it all day. The Rotom's going to get the swap. We all do this. Is he going to Rage Powder this turn? He could potentially Rage Powder this turn. Let's see what he does. This dude's play. Let's see this dude's play. This is a dark and fighting one. He does not rage powder. Grass Knight is going to fly through here and do a nice hefty chunk there. And he's going to spore up here and he's going to make that lead, yo. What a play. What a play. Alright, so Urshfu can protect you. Hmm. What is my play here? Hard swap out. Grass Knight again. Sleep powder maybe? I say we sleep out of here. We make the hard swap out. Get Rotom back out in action. <clears throat> it's gonna be definitely my play. That's my play. Right, gonna come back. He might he might swap the Earth food or maybe the Moogus. Let's see what the suit's play is. Let's see his suit's play. He's gonna swap the Moogus for So the Moogus gets to swap. Should I should have threw the sleep over there. And I think he's gonna come after my Rotom slot. Maybe close combat, something along those lines. Grizzle's gonna start again, and Venusaur is chilling. He's just chilling here, so I'm, I'm hoping he goes after Rotom. I'd much rather him go after Rotom. Wicked Boy's gonna fly through here. Go after Rotom slot. Venusaur. Okay, so Venusaur drops down. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's real tough. Okay, so. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do from here? I have two Pokemon asleep. That's. Hmm. Hmm. I could get the weather back, but. Not really the play. Hmm. Cinnaroar is a must. Cinnaroar is a must come out here. We get to intimidate onto the Urshifu. Even though a crit will, or the Wicked Blood will neglect the damage from the attack drop off. Dude, this is so hard, man. It's so hard playing up against Kyogre. I feel like playing with Kyogre is way easier to win with because Kyogre just dumps on ground off. Uh, we definitely have to fake out, but on who? I guess in the Kyogre would be our best bet. Just do that and maybe just we'll switch out. If we can wake up, I know we're asleep. We might protect, so. Let's see. We shall see. I should have probably maybe attacked the Urshfu, but he might swap the Urshfu. Let's see. He could double protect here. He could go for a detect and a protect. Which I can see totally happening here. No, he does not. Okay, so fake out is a great call by us. We get the flinch. He's starting to roll out on that. He's going to go for a close combat. That might take me out here. Nope, we eat, baby. Because of the minus one. That thing's defense is in the trash. But we should have went after that. That could have been big. But Rotom is still slumped. He's still slumped all day. Um, so what's called is going to go down here. I am still going to try to get off a Snarl. And I can't. Oh, hard, man. It's so hard. I guess we'll T-Bolt. I guess we'll T-Bolt? Like, dude, oh my lord. I don't know what to do. This is rough. Water Spout is going to fly through here. This is bye bye to my instant world all day. And I think he's going to pick up the double kill, man. I think he's going to pick up that easy double kill. Oh, always a challenge, man. Always a challenge. Wicked Blow coming in. Yep, there it is. Going to neglect that attack drop. That should probably take that, right? We survive. Okay, let's go. Wake up, Rotom. I need you here. Wake up. Yes! Rotom wakes up. Gets off a huge Thunderbolt, yo. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. We do not get the KO, but do we get paralyzed? We do not. But our leftovers are starting to trigger. Okay, uh, mm. Mm. We get weather change. We get the weather change. And who's faster? Is the ground faster than this Kyogre? I think he's going to swap one more time. I think he is going to swap one more time. I think he is going to swap one more time. Oh, dude, I was going to protect my Rotom. I was going to protect my Rotom, but I cannot. I cannot protect my Rotom. Just for sheer fact is Urshu hits through. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll go for a Thunderbolt here. Over into you. But let's just see how this one plays out. You gonna swap? Yeah, he's gonna, I knew he's gonna swap the Kyogre. I knew it, man. I knew it. Kyogre's not gonna wake up here. Maybe we need Urshu going towards the ground and then we need to eat it. We can pull a fly through. Hit the ground. Hit the ground here. Hit the ground up. Ah, that's GG's. It's over with. Unless I wake up here and get some crits and stuff, but nah, it's over with. 
Bro, what a solid battle, but it's just the power of Kyogre just outpowers the Drought all day. Like, all day it is so tough. And his two sleeps that come in clutch. I gotta give it to him there. He did make some great plays with the uh, with the sleep powders, but that is going to be it. We're sitting at 1-1. One one. We still got a third and final battle, so let's look forward to that one and look to get our winning record in that battle. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong here, but didn't we play this exact same team in battle number one? That's weird, right? That is weird because this team isn't like a, a heavy meta team. It's not like super heavy meta where like everyone's using it. Is this the same guy? I have no idea because I didn't read the name. I did not read the name, but hey, third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves another victory. We dominate this guy in the first uh, battle. So let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, I think Galade and Groudon should definitely get my lead here. I would love to get coaching up on this and just show off the power of those two. Got to bring in the Venusaur and then final Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. Who's final Pokemon here? Incineroar or Rotom? I, I think I'm going to go with Rotom. I just love me some Rotom action, man. Rotom's fun. I mean, Incineroar would definitely be the better call. But I mean, Psychic Terrain is probably going to be out and about. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what do I want to go? You know, let's just go Rotom. Let's have some fun with this one. Even though Drought's going to be out and about. Let's go Rotom. Let's grab ourselves out our running record for today's video. But, you know, it's so weird. I legit popped up on this battle. I was like, wait a minute. Are we back in battle number one? I don't think this is the same person. I do not. I will check. I will definitely check after I get done recording today. Just, just so I know. Just so I know. But it's weird to see this exact same two teams. That are not strictly meta, you know? They're not strictly meta. He's gonna go in with these two, which is really controversial his uh his terrain choice. So I guess he wants a second terrain here. Which actually really helps me out. That's super beneficial for me. And I think we have an easy, easy coaching here. I mean he could go for follow me. I mean he could go for follow me, but I still be I still say we try to go for the coach here. He's gonna pop his seeds real quick. Oh they're they're double popping seeds. They're double popping seeds. I think that's pretty cool. Unless indeed he's not terrain. I don't know if it is. Oh, it is. Okay. It is. It is. So, holy. So I guess I guess he has seeds as well. I guess he wants to pop his electric seeds and then swap over to the psychic terrain. I think that might have been his play. So he's not using psychic seeds, but I think we can just easily coach here. A nice big old coach action going here. And just drop blades, man. Just drop blades all day. Even if he does go for, for follow me, I believe he's going to fly through here and be able to rip up on the top of Coco all day. If I get off Coach, we can definitely dominate this battle. He's going to gleam here. No follow me, he's flying through here. I'm in love. I'm in love, yo. That's easy. This is easy all day, yo. Look at this. Blades coming through here. Pop. Get out my face, yo. Big old kill on you. And we get off some huge damage on that NDD. That NDD not... That NDD wasn't sashed. Yo. What? How do you get a free sash like that? Another free focus sash, guys. Yo, whoever's keep a count, keep count for me, bro. What? What is this? L look at this thing. Perfectly on one. This one is perfectly on one. That is nuts. That is nuts. But, yo, this battle's over, yo. We grabbing ourselves this winning record easily. We have a coaching ground on right now. He's all coached up. This dude's nasty. He's flying through it. And I'm surprised this ground actually outspeeds this glee. I'm actually really surprised by that. He's going to go into Lorantis. <laughs> Lorantis. But, dude, look at this thing's HP, man. That is just nutty. That is just nutty. We're just going to drop another Blades here. Actually, I'm just going to Heat Crash on that thing. And I think we just, uh, we just Dream Punch onto the other side. Z Crash 100% takes it out. This one's going to be a quick battle. Yo. Quick third and final battle. Kind of makes up for the long second battle. But, yo, we're just eating up this team out here. We're eating up this team. We burst it twice, and it's just domination. Same thing. We take out the Lorantis with a Heat Crash. We do some big damage over onto the Lorantis with a Heat Crash. Look at that. Get him out of my face. Drain Punch is going to slide over here. Bang it. Is this going to be a sweep, Andy? Is this going to be a lovely little sweep? Blade and Groudon? Mwah. Too strong. It's too strong for everybody. Except for Kyogre. Except for Kyogre. We can admit that one. Battle number two showed it. It showed it. <laughs> Let's see his final mod. He's definitely just going to cancel. He's going to be growled on. It's over. It is over. So we cannot lose a Pokemon. That's my that's my goal right here. We cannot lose a Pokemon. And in that case, I'm going to wide guard. Just in case he wants to go for his blades here. I'm not going to go for my blades. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully he cancels. We get sweet. He does not cancel. He does not cancel. So let's see if we made the right call here. Our blades come out first. Our blades might be able to take him out. Plus one. Let's see. Does not. Let's see his dude's play. He goes for the blades, baby. Wide guard wins it for us. Yo, that's GG's. That is GG's. Wide guard gives us a sweep. 
We love it. We love outplaying our opponents all day, yeah. All dang day, yeah. But the Blades should be able to finish this one off if it doesn't miss. If it doesn't miss, we get the sweep. Cancel the battle, baby. Does not cancel the battle. Blades connect the end. Easy sweep, bro. Easy sweep. Get this dude out my game. Get him out of here, yo. 2-1 for today's video. We dominated the same team twice, and we lost to a Kyogre team. The Gallade and Groudon combo is just too powerful. Once you get that Groudon set up with even one coaching, it is just domination from there. That plus one attack boost just does him so well, considering it already hits hard to begin with. Give it a plus one, it's just going to be picking up KOs left and right. But 2-1 and one for today's video, not too bad. Played really, really good, and I'm still surprised that we played the same exact team twice. I think that's pretty funny. I think it's awesome all around. But we definitely have to learn how to play up against Kyogre teams with Groudon teams. I feel like we can definitely start to do a little bit better with that. But that guy in the second battle just took us out and got himself that win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.